Okay, so we want to find out if the wealthy countries uh, are essentially hurting the earth more than the less wealthy countries. Um, so to do this, first step is you're going to get 12 random numbers between 1 and 30. Let me just show you an easy way to do that. So if I go 1, 2, and then I just drag this down to row 30, it'll give me 30 numbers. And then if I go click on this and hit randomize range, it's going to randomly arrange the numbers and I'm just going to grab the first 12 and this way guarantees that there's no duplicates by the way. Um, you could also use the ran between and just copy it down, ran between 1 and 30 and copy it down, uh, but you'd have to be a little more careful for duplicates there. And then we also have between 113, I usually do the first two, I select it and then I drag down to copy. We want to do through 149. Move it a little further. So I just keep uh, clicking and dragging on that bottom one in order to copy this. You could, of course, type these in too. Uh, and I want you to grab um, 15 from this group. So these would be the poorer nations. These would be the wealthier ones. Um, and let's just randomize range again. And we'll just grab the first 15. I know I'm getting the first 15 because I notice I'm on row 15. I'm just going to color these red or something. So I have my, uh, I'm just going to copy and paste those right there. And there we go. I have 25. That's the correct number. I can get rid of column C here. Don't need that. Uh, and one thing I did, I actually did this when the video was paused, but I sort sheet A to Z. That puts all the numbers in order. That's going to make things easy here in just a second. So these are my more prosperous and less prosperous countries. So now I just need to figure out what those countries are. So if you use the link I gave you in the instructions to get the prosperity index, um, I'm going to slam it against the wall here and do that again. I will be able to see two screens at once. Uh, you can just go back and forth if you need to also. Um, so this ranking right here tells me what country it is. So number two, for example, is Norway. Sorry, I didn't see number one there. I had to move it up and down to notice that it was Denmark. Okay, so number two is Norway. Number five is Finland. And I'm just going to go down the list. I'm looking at what each country is there. Okay, so now we have all of them typed up. Um, there is a more graceful way to do that, but it uh, involves some cut and paste finesse stuff. If you're curious, I'd be glad to show you instead of typing all those out. Um, and you could also notice use any of this data. You should cruise around this site and figure out what do these things actually mean. They're, they're kind of cool what they're, they're measuring there. Um, but then the next thing to do is to go to the Happy Planet Index site and all the way at the bottom of it there's the index data and you'll download that and open it up. should look something like this. Um, most important here, so first of all we're clicking down on Make sure you can see this. Clicking down on rank order. Uh, there we go. Complete HPI data. Um, I guess there's yeah either one, the rank order or the complete HPI data will get you. But most importantly here, let me make this a little bigger. Um, you really want to get this ecological footprint. Do not get the Happy Planet Index itself or these. Those would be interesting things to study. Um, actually, you know what? I, I take that back. Um, you, why don't you choose whichever one of these five you're interested in? This, this should uh, work. The system we're doing should work for any of these five. Um, so just choose the one that's most interesting to you. And the way that I have it set up on the spreadsheet assignment is to test 
uh, prosperous and non-prosperous countries on how big of an ecological uh, footprint they're making. Uh, but certainly it would be interesting to see the life expectancy, how it differs or if it differs, or the general well-being. This is like a self-report scale. and um, So choose whichever one you want. And then once you've chosen what you're going to be conducting your test on, then you're just going to go through and fill these in. So a, a very similar process here uh, where you're going to find each country's name in this list. And then just make sure you're consistently choosing from the same column. So if, if I'm doing ecological footprint here, I'd have a 5.0 for Norway. And I would go down to do Finland. Uh, I, should, I should do Finland on the same measure that Norway was. Uh, might help if I sorted these. So I'm going to just sort these A to Z. That way I can at least find them more easily. So Finland would also be a 5.9. Um, you don't want to mix and match though. If you're taking some numbers from this column, you can't take some from this. You have to choose a column and stick with it. Otherwise the, the results will be nonsense. Okay. Well, I can't, I can't stop. There, there's a really cool way to do this. I've got to show you. And if this doesn't work for you, that's, that's fine too. But if you grab, if you grab, actually all we need is the data. So we grab all the data. I'm just highlighting it all, control C or command C on a Mac. And then I'm coming over here. Uh, let me just control V or command V on a Mac. And then I'm pasting, pasting it all there. Uh, it looks like that, that worked fine. Then you do this cool, cool formula, which is equals V lookup, vertical lookup. Uh, the first thing is you want to put in your search key, which is just, okay, I want to find Germany somewhere over here. So I'm putting that. Uh, and don't type in Germany. Make sure you put the cell so we can just cut and paste this formula. The range, I want to look in all of this portion. So make sure you uh, start wherever the country names start, because that's what we're going to be looking in. So I'm going to start there. And drag it over. Um, whoops, that. Make sure we're getting the column headers there um, so that it gets the entire columns. Or you could just put the starting column, colon, last column. But do make sure that your starting column is where the country names are actually located. Then comma. Uh, then index is which column do you want the data from? So of the ones I've selected, this would be one two, three, four, five. I want column number six in this group that I just selected. So I'm going to put a six. You may want uh, a different number, three, four, five, or even eight there. And then the last, you're going to put comma and false. This false just prevents um, basically data you don't want being in there. So then I'm pressing enter. So notice that it goes ahead and searches through. It finds Germany. Uh, wherever Germany is, it must have been a 5.3. So, yep, there's Germany. And you can see that the ecological footprint is a 5.3. The cool part then, you just cut and paste that formula or drag it down, and suddenly it does all the work for you. Now, you do have to check these NAs to make sure they're really NAs. So here, um, what I realized is I should have typed United States. Let's see if that helps. Whatever it is, I didn't type in what, what they have here. Um, what do they have? United States of America, maybe? Yep, United States of America. So let me... And there you go. There's our eight. Ooh, an embarrassing 8.2. That means we're using resources at eight times the rate we, we should. Um, Laos may just not be in there. So you can double check the spelling, but I, I know that that's correct, as are these. So these really are just NA, and you, you may have a few of these uh, not applicable. And the NAs will probably be more down in the less prosperous just because um, the data collection tends not to be as good um, for obvious reasons. The, the funding's not there for good data collection. 
So you do want to make sure that all the NAs are at the end, though. That's very important. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to grab the louse data, cut it, and paste it down here. And then I'm going to highlight that again, right click, and delete cells, shift up. So notice that makes sure that, and you might have to do that a couple times until all your, your data is, your NA data is at the end. We need all of the actual present data to be together in order to run the test. Okay, so that is, and um, clicking on one, right clicking, insert one above. So this is HDI rank or prosperity rank, maybe I'll, maybe I'll put that prosperity rank, country, and then this is ecological footprint. Okay, so I've got all the data I need there. Now what I'm going to do is just get rid of this. So I'm going to drag and select over, right click and delete that. Ah, <laughs> I cannot do that. So I'm doing a Control Z, you could also hit the backspace there. Uh, what I need to do before I can delete it is change these from formulas to numbers. So I'm going to highlight all these, cut them to the clipboard, paste special values only. Now they're actually values, so when I delete them, um, the numbers will remain there. So now the data is in the perfect format, ready for us to conduct our test. And I'll do that in a separate video.